When Faith Hill was first coming up in country music, there were a lot of rumors that she and Alan Jackson were having an affair. Some people even said that they had a child together. And you'll never believe the shocking truth about what actually happened between them. August 27, 1995 was just another tour stop for a country music superstar and his opening act, who was called a hot newcomer. The headliner was multi-award winning singer-songwriter Alan Jackson, and Faith Hill was Alan's opening act. Reviews of their Kentucky State Farm tour stop called the concert unforgettable. And while Alan and Faith didn't perform together on stage, it didn't take long for the gossipers to plant a seed about Faith and Alan's relationship off stage. It was common knowledge in Nashville that Alan had personally invited Faith to tour with him that summer. It was a dream slot for a new female country artist like Faith. She opened for Alan in 33 cities. They performed to packed audiences and fantastic reviews night after night. And it got even better for Faith. Because because Alan seemed to take a personal interest in her career. He even wrote a song for Faith, and she began performing the song he wrote for her during their tour. Audiences, like the crowd that night in Kentucky, loved the song, and it became a big hit for Faith. It really seemed like her association with Alan was a huge boost for her career. But did the lines blur? Did their relationship turn personal? 1995 had been another huge year for Alan's country music career. He won CMA Entertainer of the Year in 95, and when he accepted the award at the televised ceremony, he had one person to thank. In his touching speech, Alan dedicated the most important award in country music to his wife, Denise. Alan's speech included some shocking remarks. He said that he'd married Denise when she was too young to know any better. Alan also said that Denise had never complained about his career or their life together. Complimenting his wife like that in public should have been seen as a sweet gesture by Alan, but the gossipers were closing in, and the rumors kept growing that Alan and Denise's marriage was actually crumbling behind the scenes. Everyone figured that Denise knew Alan had cheated on her with Faith. The following year, Denise was interviewed by a major news source, and what she said about Alan did nothing to stamp out the gossip. You won't believe what Denise's excuse was. She said that Alan getting attention from women was expected, and even more shockingly, Denise said that people are going to want to be with Alan. She said that she couldn't control anyone else. Denise also said that she couldn't control Alan either, which was a pretty interesting thing to say. Interestingly enough, this wasn't the first time that people became obsessed with Faith's personal life. This also happened before she met Alan. Faith had already been married once. She met her first husband, Nashville music executive Daniel Hill, very soon after she arrived in town to pursue her singing career. Daniel was immediately smitten. They married in 1988, but by 1994, Faith had filed for divorce. That's an important date to note because some gossipers said that Faith left Daniel for Alan. But the divorce from Daniel happened about a year before Faith went on tour with Alan. It's bad enough to have gossipers accuse Faith of trying to break up Alan's marriage to Denise. But another rumor about Faith and Alan is even more shocking. Alan got accused of getting Faith pregnant. Apparently that pregnancy resulted in Faith's first child, Gracie. If you look online at certain websites, you'll find anonymous sources who claim to know a good friend of Alan's. This nameless friend of Alan's apparently confirmed that Gracie is his daughter, and people have looked for many excuses to believe this rumor. Some say that Gracie just doesn't resemble her father, Tim McGraw, or her two sisters. Some also say that Tim married Faith, knowing that she was having Alan's baby. After Tim and Faith married in October 1996, he agreed to adopt the child after she was born. And Gracie Gracie was born in May 1997, which also seems like a pretty weird coincidence for Alan and Denise. Because in 1997, Denise also gave birth to a daughter. Alan and Denise named their daughter Danny Grace. And while the rumor mill continued to churn, some Nashville insiders said that Alan's new daughter with Denise was proof that his marriage was solid. But unfortunately, those insiders got proven wrong about Alan and Denise. Months later in 1998, Alan made a shocking decision. He moved out of the fancy new home he'd purchased with Denise, leaving her there with a new baby and their two other kids. Media sources in Nashville reported that Denise had hired a big shot divorce attorney, and the rumor mill ran with this. Gossip began circulating that Denise had named Faith in the divorce paperwork, but there's a hole in that rumor too. Yes, Alan moved out in 1998. Yes, Denise hired a lawyer, but no divorce papers were officially filed. Friends in Nashville and people who knew Alan and Denise before fame were still hopeful for good news. Alan was a songwriter, and he'd written plenty of tender love songs for Denise. Alan's first number one record was I'd Love You.
you all over again. He wrote that song for Denise on their 10th wedding anniversary. And it's been noted that Alan wrote his hit, Living on Love, for his wife too. Alan and Denise shared a long, loving history. They began dating in 1976 when he was 17 and she was 16. They got married in 1979. And although they separated in 1998, something shocking happened just a few months later. Apparently, Alan met Denise privately. They talked at length, and they both came to a serious conclusion. Alan and Denise both admitted that they still loved each other. They wanted to give their marriage another shot. The Jacksons did get back together, and their marriage is now stronger than ever. Denise even wrote a book about saving her marriage that came out in 2007. As for the so-called mistress, Faith and Tim's marriage looks strong, although they've battled countless breakup rumors through the years. And as far as the Gracie rumor goes, Alan and Faith's tour was in 1995. Faith and Tim's tour was in 1996. Tim and Faith got married pretty quickly after they met. It seems crazy that Faith could have gotten together with Alan during this time. Tim and Faith were together all the time. They even got engaged one night before he went out to perform for a huge crowd. So I feel like most likely Tim and Faith were intimate and she found out she was having a baby. So they made it official in October 1996 and their first baby was born the following May. That's just what makes the most sense. Honestly, you kind of have to feel for Faith. She's been accused of having countless affairs with men and women. In 2002, a magazine reporter tried to get Faith to confirm the Allen rumors. And you won't believe the sneaky way that the reporter went about this. The reporter Porter asked Faith about her overlap between men. This is because Faith had been divorced, then engaged to a famous Nashville producer named Scott Hendricks, and she was still engaged to Scott when she met Tim. Faith ended her engagement when she started dating Tim on tour. The magazine reporter asked Faith a pointed question about that. They asked Faith if she had a reputation. Was she keeping one guy on the back burner while she pursued another guy? Then the reporter dove into the rumor about Faith and Alan, and you won't believe what the reporter said. They asked Faith if Alan had been in love with her. As proof, the reporter mentioned the song that Alan had written for Faith. Faith's response was shocking. She said that she didn't think that Alan had been in love with her. It is interesting to note that the song Alan wrote for Faith was not a love song. The song is called I Can't Do That Anymore. It's actually about a woman telling her husband how she truly feels. It sounds way more like Alan was thinking of his wife, Denise. But whether or not they did have a fling, it seems like Alan and Faith have definitely moved on. But what do you guys think? How do you feel about Faith and Alan's rumored fling? And are you a fan of their music? 